Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Unnamed here. It's been a while, mostly due to sickness that I'm still recovering from and a lot of work-related nonsense. Today I'm going to be doing a spotlight on a ship from the workshop. Some of you, if you follow the XP gamers, Morphologists, and Wasted Space, would recognize this ship as the Pax Constitution. Now this is the modless version and it is a very beautiful looking ship how the ribbing just wraps around how they're using the blast door blocks and the metal grates to kind of really just make this ship look absolutely fantastic it even has its own little mining ship down here connected via merge blocks and the fact that it's so Compact is just amazing. Now let's hop into this thing. Aha, yeah, okay. Very cool. Now it looks like there's some damage here and there. As you can see, it's supposed to be an older ship, so maybe it got a little bit beat up over the years. So that kind of adds a little bit of flavor to this. It's very lightly defended. It has two rocket pods and this rocket launcher out in front here. And that's pretty much it as far as weapons go. Now you've already seen the outside, which is really, really amazing. Let's go, uh, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. We'll just come through here into this little airlock, close the door behind us, should automatically pressurize as soon as it's fully closed. There we go. We're now able to enter the ship proper. As you can see it's a little cramped in here. But it does look pretty cool. We got plenty of storage, small cargo containers, and a large cargo container bag here. The medical bay. Not a whole lot going on with this. We got a few cryopods and a respawn chamber. Let's go check out engineering. So this is pretty cool. It's using a uh, script to handle all of the uh, automated functions and all, which is awesome. Control station here. What's down here? More stuff. And aha! Little exit hatch get out of engineering I suppose if you have to but everything is easily accessible right here very cool a little bit of heavy armor in here as well I guess just to protect the reactors from any damage a little bit of seating some windows to view outside not bad Let's head a bit further down, see what else we can find. This leads to, aha, the hangar located at the front of the ship. Lots of heavy armor in here as well. I guess if you're gonna have ships flying around, potentially crashing in here, a little bit of heavy armor is a good idea. We also have some landing gears for securing any ships, as well as another door, which leads to some batteries, refineries, and assemblers. So this would be the production center. Very cool. 
Now I like these walkways, you could have a ship parked right here and be able to get access underneath it to repair it. And in here, just pass through. We come to the mining ship where we can hop in and start flying around and gathering up resources that we need. Very cool. Let's head back up and explore more upper levels of the ship. Let's see, that leads to a hydrogen tank, it seems. Here we go. And what is this? Open hangar. And close hangar. Okay. That could be one button and another button to depressurize the area, but eh. Now this ship is made by Twitchins of the DSN clan. Used by Captain Shack, Morphologist, and Wasted Space in their little uh, Space Engineers mini-series. So far, I'm really liking it. This is the first ship I've decided to review. I'm probably going to be uh, doing this more often because there's so much I can learn about building ships from uh, just walking through and seeing these things. Let's see, in here we have some kind of workstations. I think all of these, yes, are crew quarters. Pretty sparse, actually. Not a whole lot going on with those. Huh. Very cool. This just leads outside. Another entrance or exit. And I'm assuming this is the captain's quarters. It's got the biggest window. Ah, and it actually opens up to the bridge. The bridge itself is kind of plain, but I do like what they did with uh, these little workstations here. I suppose is uh, what they're trying to do with that. How they've got the uh, cockpits kind of in their own little section. Same up here. You could just hop in on either one of these. Large displays showing everything from power, cargo space, location, any damaged blocks. And this ship is actually. I want to say it's close to being the same size as my main factory ship which is pretty cool it's a lot more decked out but uh... this one looks you know more like it's built for a fleet purpose still very cool let's see if i can reverse it I want to try and see if it's going to fit inside my shipyard. I have a feeling it will. No reason why it wouldn't. Oop. This thing does drift around a little bit. It's a very heavy ship. About 4 million kilos. So getting it moving and then getting it to stop is a bit of a challenge. Let's see, there we go. Let's just ease that in there. And yeah, it looks like it'll fit inside my shipyard without any problem. So yeah, even some of the biggest ships I have, and uh, some of the biggest ships on the workshop, it'll fit in here pretty well. And 
there is no doubt this is a very large ship. And I just love how much they managed to cram in here. So that's it. This is the Pax Constitution. Used by the Group Survival Series from Wasted Morphologist Captain Shack. The No Mods version. Originally made by Twitchens, I believe. If I'm wrong on that, then please, uh... Go ahead and correct me in the comments below. Yeah, very, very cool ship. I'm looking forward to seeing some more. Until next time.